Hey there, folks. Master Blood here with Chris Steele of Fun Infused Games, and we're going to give his game Platinum Kill uh, a go here. And at the same time, we're going to attempt to interview Chris Steele while I play this game. Now, uh, in my defense, I am using the Steam Controller. It's amazing. It makes custom sounds and everything, too. Well, not too custom. It's like whatever they have for a list. Hey, Chris, how's it going? So he clipped out there. I, I think you're asking how it's going, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm asking how it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going pretty good, man. Uh, you know, happy to happy to have everybody here listening on the stream and uh, checking out the game. I've been working real hard on on this, and uh, hopefully everybody enjoys it. Right. Now I had a little, I had a little hand in trying to play it already, so I'm, I'm kind of know what's going on. So okay, so now what, uh, what inspired this game? So I, I did a game called Ultra Action, uh, for Xbox Live Indie Games. It was uh, the last Xbox Live Indie game that I made. One of the last ones probably on the service because the service at that point was so broken. <laughs> it was pretty hard to get anything even to release. Um, but, you know, I, I, I grew up liking uh, Contra uh, uh, quite a bit. Um, and that Ultra Action was uh, basically like a 2D uh, Contra with just shapes and stuff. Like everything was squares and rectangles. It was kind of like the the gameplay of it but uh you know without uh, any fancy kind of tr trimmings or anything like that and i put that on green light and i i said you know what if, if this gets through on green light i'm gonna do a real proper kind of game out of it and, i think i you know, go remember through. there being on the green light and voting it up there it's got approved i don't know it was two years ago maybe um you know quite a while ago and it's just uh, it's really kind of grown like you know from a pretty small game that i made in basically a month to uh something i've been working on for about two years Who, now who's this guy right so, here i meant to ask who's this like guy rocking out is that supposed to be slash yeah, yeah he's he's in the jungle you know you know they're oh up. now i get <laughs> welcome to the yeah. jungle exactly <laughs> So. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Now, what inspired this boss here? That I so, <laughs> that you died at. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, like, that's one of the Easter head, uh, like, the MOA kind of kind of structures. You, there's some uh, you saw earlier in the game as well. You know, I wanted something that kind of popped out of the ground and, uh, shot things at you and made sense uh, in a jungle setting so I ended up uh, using that you'll see one up here in a little bit and uh, when I decided to uh, to add some some mid bosses back into the game I was just thinking about what might be cool and I thought I thought you know that would be uh, a really kind of neat thing to see like just a ginormous one of those because you know that uh, it's silly, but also threatening at the same time. Uh, that's you know, I'm trying. I'm I'm not taking myself too seriously with this game, so I'm doing a lot of kind of goofy stuff like that. And that uh, you know, it seemed pretty fitting. Um, now that oh, now he's throwing something golden. I hope it's not poop. Uh, it's supposed to be bananas. I mean, really golden maybe <laughs> really golden bananas there. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what's the what's but the they, point of this shot shot here, the the, the dual sided well, shot? Well, it's it, it's shooting front oh. and back, so that if you know if enemies are coming from behind you, you can uh, you can hit them, or or there's gonna be you know some spots where you might want to jump in between two enemies and just kind of wax them all from both sides. Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> That's really difficult. It's like a bullet hell shooter. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you're close. I think you're close. 
close to the end? There you got him. No, close to having him dead. Oh, in that sense. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try another level here. We're gonna give a peek at all the levels for everybody. Like Max. Yeah. Uh, how about we I've go got the Tommy Hoff there? I've got uh, yeah, I've got the level select open up for this. I, I don't know if I'll leave it open like that for the the final version of the game, but oh, uh, yeah, don't do that. You know, don't, that will ruin it. Unless you want to. Yeah. Do oh, what, what's this? Tell me about. So this, this level. was. So I wanted a kind of a, a change of pace kind of thing, like, you know, I, there's seven different levels in this game, and I didn't want every level to be the same. You know, I'm gonna run, you know, sideways and shoot at things. So uh, I've got two uh, levels. I got the surfing one, and then uh, there's a space trigger one that we'll we'll look. And uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, still you your classic. Uh, oh, you dropped classic, bombs. Uh, What's going on here? What do I got to do with here? What, what do I have to do? What? What's going on? The the bombs. Oh. Rubber, rubber, rubber ducky. <laughs> Either blow them up or jump over them. Oh. Is he a boss? Yeah, oh, you'll see. <laughs> oh. I had the early versions of this. I just had mines kind of floating by themselves, and it seemed uh, it seemed like a little bit more exciting if you had something coming along and dropping them on you versus. I'm still uh, waiting for jaws. I'm still there. waiting for jaws to pop out here. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to actually go back, and I'm gonna put some stuff in the water, just kind of swimming or floating by. <gasps> Um, um Rubber Van Dyke. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. The steam controller is, like, really good with this. There's a button, like, I don't know if you've ever uh, seen the Elite controller for Xbox. This thing has a button on the bottom of the controller, which makes it easier for me to, uh, to instantly jump. Like I just said. Oh, hey. oh, oh, yeah. You press like with your your fingers on the back of the controller, kind of yeah. thing. Oh, I defeated a level. You won. Holy Amazing. God. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, let's let's go to another level here. Now, um, during the development of the game, um, what are uh, some of the main obstacles that you've uh, had to endure? Um. You know, getting getting the, the the challenge right, I think, is is one of the hard things. Like, you know, you you spend a year or two years, you know, making a game, playing the same game. You you get pretty good at it, and you kind of understand like everything that's going on. You understand, you know, you you made everything, so you understand what the weapons are. You understand how the you know various mechanics work, and then. You've just really gotta like watch other people play, cause they'll, oh, oh. Um, they'll do things, you know, they ah. they don't understand, things, or, <laughs> or they'll, you know, not get mechanics that you sort of took for granted. Um, you know, I had some jumps in that first level, where, you know, I expected people to, just jump on the thing and and it would spring them up, but people were trying to jump before bombs? they hit How it. I use bombs. I got bombs. Um, it's. B, I think on the, it's, I think it's B on the Xbox controller. I'm not sure what Steam controller that maps to. Oh, it's. X. Okay. Oh, so they are, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the bombs right now are, are slightly overpowered. They're uh, there's one of the newer additions to this, and I haven't balanced them out yet. So, um, you're gonna really like lay waste to Santa things. Claus? No. No. Oh, I got these little maybe. elves coming at me. Maybe. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, oh, crap, 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 crap! That's one of the challenging things with this level, is just kind of... I want... Making it colorful, but also... Not getting kind of lost in everything that's happening. You know? Yeah. Okay, so continue about telling me about those, uh challenges that you've had. Uh, you told me there's no let's Santa! See this guy. <laughs> I said under my breath though that there was. <laughs> oh. Okay. But yeah, it, you know, people 
there's a double jump in the game, and and people would go to land on the block and hit jump right before, you know, expecting they had to hit jump at the same time they hit it to spring up. But instead, they they do their double jump, which wouldn't be as high as the spring jump, and then they'd end up falling in, in a pit. Subsequently, it's one of those blocks right there I'm talking about. So, yeah, you know, if you land on it, it'll spring you up. But there's just a lot of people that didn't didn't understand that. You know, maybe it's my fault that it's not confusing or that it's too confusing. Oh. Um, but you know, it's just like a little thing like that that you don't see until you actually watch people play and realize it. And I was just watching all kinds of people fall in pits on a, a big part that I assume is really easy. Oh my god, he's getting closer. You got oh. oh. So all the enemies I all the enemies when him? they're taking Yeah. Um all the enemies in this game though, when you hit them at a damage point, they, they kinda of flash a color, so when you're just shooting them there and nothing was happening, it's it's cause you're not hitting them in the right spot. Oh, look at that bold elf. <laughs> and I died. So what was the inspiration for this yucky, yucky sewer level? Um, the the art style, I guess, was a little bit, uh, a little bit Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mixed with a little bit of, uh, what is that level from uh, Mortal Kombat 2, the, uh, the Deadpool it, one? It, it, no, not the oh, pit. Oh, um, the waste. With all the. It's, I think it's called the waste or something. Yeah, it, it is. It's one of the pit. It's not the actual pit level, but it's one where you can hit them into like the green ooze. You can uppercut them into it, and they bob down and come up as a little skeleton guy. Um. Yeah, th this level. Okay, jump up and try to hit him in the uh... eyes there. Oh, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. So like the the actual true mid bosses, they'll uh they'll not Ooh. let you get past them. But those are just sort of like tougher enemies and the, so you can jump around them. Oh took them all out. <laughs> oh AI oh. oh, I think you lost your AI though. He's yeah. You couldn't land anywhere because you didn't keep going. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh man. You're getting really close to the boss of that level. Like, yeah. you're almost there. Maybe about Cheeseburger Town. This is another one of the, uh, the, the change of pace kind of levels that I added. Um, that's a lot different than the rest of them. And it. The the jungle level I think I balanced oh, out a lot better, uh, but this is this is one that I haven't quite gotten got to doing that yet. It is not recommended that you jump on this cheeseburger. Yeah, I think there's there's some things I need to do differently with uh like velocity. I like... love this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a hyper ship to come out of, out of somewhere. Oh, yeah, I, I, I heard a hypership sound. Yeah. Ooh. I use well, I use the same uh, same tools to make the sounds for this as I did hypership, but uh, I I do want to put some hypership stuff in the background here. I think it'd be like nice, a nice little nod to my old games, but uh, like I said, this this level hasn't gotten a lot of love just yet. So what those little guys will do is when they go off the bottom of the screen, if you haven't killed them, they're gonna shoot up at you. So it gives you sort of an incentive to kill as many as you can before they get off the screen. You know, not just to make a hole and wait for them to pass. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what did I get hit by? Okay. One of those big fireballs. Oh, I'm not. I want to try that again. Let's go cheeseburger town again. Now, um, your other games, uh, Vol Chaos and uh, Hyper Ship Out of Control. And Bad Caterpillar, are you planning on putting any other parts of your games in, in this game? Besides Hypership? No, 
Not really. I, I don't... I don't think they fit as well, probably. And maybe something from Vol Chaos would fit somewhere, but... Exclusive, uh, special level? Like, if you... Hit, yeah. If you hit a combo, <laughs> you get into, uh, Vol Chaos level? Yeah. <laughs> And it spawns you as, uh, you know, the young Indiana Jones guy. Looking yeah. Like... Oh! Oh, Glorp. Leap Glorp. You know, can I shoot those bombs down? No, they're just, oh. just fireballs past the song, so, so run away from them as uh, best you can. Yeah, so any of those guys you don't get, they're gonna shoot at you when they go off the bottom of the screen there, so... Be oh. ready. <laughs> no, I had it. I... Mm. Oh, the burger started moving and got you. <laughs> yeah. Now, I had an instance where I was doing the space burger of Infinite Terror, and I spawned yeah. in, and then I... As soon as I spawned in, the burger was moving. As soon as I spawned in, I fell. Like I was, it didn't even hit the cheeseburger. Yeah. Yet. So one of the one of the ideas I've been kind of kicking around is uh, instead of just outright dropping you like that, I was thinking like maybe like have you like come in like holding an umbrella like Mary Poppins style and float down, <laughs> you know? That then was... you have more control of like where you land and you know you don't have those cheap pit deaths and it's kind of a good good for a laugh. There was a Pac-Man ghost in here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a few nods to some some old games in here. What's with this chicken? What's he doing? He's dropping chicken legs on you. Oh. <laughs> Drumsticks, what, I guess. Is that what it was? Yeah. This is another weapon, too, that's kind of unbalanced, because it, it freezes everything with one hit. So it makes killing the the more powerful enemies pretty easy, and uh, so I, I think what I need to do is it needs to take a couple hits to freeze the more powerful enemies, and I think I might change it too. Where once you freeze an enemy, like maybe you can jump on them. Right now you'll just go through them and they won't kill you, but it might be a neat sort of thing. Like hey, you can freeze them and then you can use them as some kind of block. I don't want to get rid of this item. Why is this not a falling bridge? <laughs> I could do that. Blow it up as you go. <gasps> Ooh. You're scary. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you freaking kidding me? <laughs> what? No, come on! Oh, that's balls ass hard. <laughs> oh man, you're uh, killing me with this. Oh, uh, I got this. It's not an easy game. It's it's not by any means an easy game. But uh, trying to be fair all the way through. Like I I was saying earlier, like the the first level I've balanced it a lot better. Um, I haven't really gotten through all the later levels doing that. Uh, this is the the final level. This is the the burning fires of literal hell, and I don't actually have the have it built in there. There's going to be an enemy at the end, and you can kill them, and then it'll take you to the final boss level. And you can see my placeholder final boss if you really want to, and you can see the credits scene, and then it's going to dump you back to the to the jungle level. So. Um, Really are you hearing? Ice. Yeah, I, all the levels are the same, you know, the same length, but you kind of notice it more when there's nothing and you're just running. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, like right now, I'm planning out this level. I'm gonna have some little, uh, some little devil emojis, uh, and I'm gonna have some cupid things that are raining down. Is that it? Yeah. So that, that yeah, that was that was the placeholder boss of this a, level a snowman in the, in yeah. the pits of hell no, do it. okay when you play this next level keep keep watching just don't don't shoot yet just okay. just walk through it All right. and then what if you want to shoot once you see the boss but just just he's gonna die in one hit so if you shoot him while well, he's Whoa. that's the place holder boss <laughs> Oh, 
I, oh, re- oh. Rest assured, when I get to actually making... Uh, this was the original you. ending of Ultra Action. I haven't put an actual anything. Sorry. You forgot the two R's. <laughs> uh, uh I'm bad at spelling. <laughs> as Kitty Hawk. Bruce as Dr. Sharface. Chris Steele, game design, programming, sound. Where's the pizza? I also I pizza. <laughs> Oh, Zach Parrish! Oh! There's oh, pizza. There's, yeah, pizza. Oh, it's delicious. Right after, right after Zach. Pizza. <laughs> we just had pizza. Thanks for playing. Don't sniff glue. That's, uh, that's key advice. Yeah. So, when can we expect this game? Uh, I'm thinking probably early 2019. I, I, I might be able to finish up before then, but... Then I'm started getting into like releasing during the holiday release window, and I I just don't want to do that. I don't want to compete with all the holiday releases and like the Steam Winter Sale and you know all that kind of stuff. So I think it's probably even if I'm done, uh, best to wait you know until till early next year, and that'll give me more time uh, to finish up the ports because, um, I'm going to be bringing this, this, the version you're playing is the steam version, obviously. Um, but I'm also going to bring it to Xbox one and, uh, PlayStation four. So having that extra time will allow me to kind of get through all the hoops of doing those different ports. So I I expect that's going to probably be what slows me down the most, actually more so than, uh, making the rest of the game. Stop throwing the poop at me! You should really just be golden poop. Yeah. And should stay in the area and then slow him down. <laughs> I feel like I'm really powerful right it's... now. Yeah, you're you're invincible and you've got uh, you've got the railgun that freezes people. So I don't know um, the the weapon system, the way it works on this game. You can have one attribute and one weapon. Um, yeah. So right now you've got the you've got the railgun oh. with the freeze attribute. So basically, you know it applies that attribute to whatever gun ha- had. So if you had the spread gun and the freeze attribute, you'd be shooting a spread gun that freezes everything. Um, so you you get a lot of kind of interesting combinations. Uh, there's like rocket launcher and uh, you know there's the two way, the four way, the spread gun. Obviously, um, I still want to do some more things oh. with that. With you know, maybe I tried like a flamethrower kind of weapon, and uh, I don't know. I've been thinking like maybe even try like a sword, see what a sword would be like in this game. You know, like a really, you know, just something that makes it a little different to play. You know, a sword. That means you would have to get really, really close. You would. With with the double jump, you could get pretty much, you know, to every enemy. So I I think it would be doable. I don't know if it would be fun, but that's one of the things, you know, you try it out, um, you know, you see if it works, and maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Ooh, cheeseburger. Oh. Why is it green? Is it moldy? Yeah, it's just the, it's just the, the, the trails kind of behind it. It's kind of like, um, you oh. know, on like... Yeah, that's the uh, that's the only one of your weapons right now that has like a collateral Ooh, damage. To I it. just fell off for no apparent reason. Yeah, it's it pretty much ends where it goes flat. Like the there's no little like sides to that cheeseburger. Ooh, lots of coins. I'm gonna destroy these guys. Should hurt my mom. Is it? Nope. Yay, that's it. Nope. Yay. Duck. Forgot I could duck. <gasps> Rapid fire. I hope you get to the boss on this one, because I, I, this yeah. is one of the coolest we bosses. To, I... We have to do it for the stream. Yeah. No, no, no! Oh, this guy. What? 
All right. Do you, do you want do you want to cheat? Do you want to cheat just for this so you can make sure you get to the boss? Yeah. Okay. Press. Pause. Pause it. Okay. Press tilde on on your keyboard. What is it? Press the tilde on your keyboard. What's that? That little squiggly line top left. Ah, oh, that thing. <laughs> okay. Now press press L. Every time you press L, it'll give you five lives. And then when you're done, press tilde again and drop back into the game. We're gonna see it. We're gonna see a boss. I hope, hopefully, that's enough lives to get you there. <laughs> I really hope so. I pressed, I pressed L <laughs> a bunch of times. Oh. Those won't be in the release version, but uh, yeah, yeah, they're they're they help me out too when I'm playing and. And there's also another one that'll jump you straight to the boss, so that, uh... That looks like the sun from, uh, Mario. Yeah, kind of. They're both, they're both kind of, uh, jerks. <laughs> wait, I, wait, didn't, didn't you have the sun in, uh, Volcaos? Uh, yeah, he doesn't kill you, but, he yeah, there's like, a, there's a sun... Like he might be. I, I think he's angry too. Maybe I just make angry sons. <laughs> Maybe that needs to be a thing that, I start doing in all or, my games. You, you better be thankful you have a daughter and not a son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big freaking lasers! Alright, this guy needs to go. I, I updated this one since uh, since I pushed out this build where you actually can shoot through those shots because I didn't like that. You see right now you're hitting the shots and yeah, it's, it's like killing a, yours. It's like a shield. Oh man, yeah. he is like... He's like a really hard boss. He should be, well, like, and, he should be like the end boss. Yeah. Because he's, like, well, he's I, like really complicated. Yeah. Like you I'm, finally I'm, go I'm out, not to, gonna... out to space after the graveyard and... And you take off in a hyper ship, and this yeah. is where you end up. You blow up, and then you end up on a cheeseburger. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, we had probably transition a little smoother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what food did you have the day before that? <laughs> we had cheeseburgers, and this is Chris Steele, the developer of this awesome game right here. <laughs> I didn't hear that. The, the things that you hear in the background while I'm streaming. Well, this was uh, Platinum Kill on Steam. It's not out yet. What, what is the suggested time of release we're looking at? Uh, I want to say probably early 2019. Yeah. So... Like Nothing set in stone what, yet, but it's coming. Like spring, maybe? Yeah, I hope so. All right. Maybe before then, but, you know, we'll see. Well, I want to thank... There's still a lot of... Well, so go ahead, uh, finish what you were going to say. Oh, yeah, there's still there's still a lot to go and a lot of polishing. And, you know, if you think that sun boss was complicated, just, just wait until you get to the last final boss. He's not going to be a giant snowman like we saw there. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Well, I want to thank Chris Steele for uh, taking the time out uh, for this interview and taking a first look at Platinum Kill that's coming out for Steam, possibly PS4, and Xbox One. Um, thanks a lot, Chris. Not, not possibly, definitely. But, yeah, thanks. All right. Um, for all more information on this game, uh, a link in the description below. The, this will be on YouTube, so it will be in that description below. Uh, Fun and Fuse Games Twitter, uh, website, and uh, YouTube, right? It's, and links to yeah. his other games as well. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. This is Master Blood signing off.